Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Show and Shine video. So we've got a really special treat today. We are going to be taking a look at the Laurel and Hardy 1925 Model T Roadster. Now this is going to be a two-part video. The first one we're going to take a look at how my dad built the video and in the second video coming up maybe tomorrow we are going to be taking a look at how I built the Model T. So without further ado let's go down to the bench and see the video for this week. So here's how my dad built the Laurel and Hardy Model T. Now this again is another one of those Cars of the Stars things because we do get Laurel and Hardy in the kit. You can actually glue on Laurel and Hardy's arms to change the position of the two figures so you could have Mr. Hardy driving the Model T or Mr. Laurel. Now my dad did glue these guys in place and glued the top on. So unfortunately we can't really get a proper look at the, the two characters. But when I built mine, which we'll see in the next video, I've actually designed my Laurel and Hardy so that I can move the position of the guys by sliding them out of the way of the steering wheel. And uh, that also means that I can put them into any other AMT Model T kit. Now again, my dad painted that spring a gray color, and he did add on this 1925T license plate right underneath the crank. So I'm just going to start to rotate the car around. I did clean this one up, and luckily this is one of the models in his collection that didn't have something broken on it. <laughs> I, um, the thing is, Dad put these into these uh, plastic bags to keep the dust off them. And I think just by putting them in and out of the bag, that did more damage than anything. Anyway, there's a nice top. He did add in these four little dots into the corners, which are supposed to be the little peg clips to keep that uh, celluloid window in the back, because the window did have to fold down with the top. It might have been a piece of glass too, I'm not 100% sure. Now one thing I noticed is my dad's got the rear axle a little bit far away from the Model T here, the fender. If you actually look at a Model T, this is really close up to the fender because the back wheel only went straight up and down. So it didn't really need to be back. The front wheels did need to be out because you're turning with those. So you can't have, when you make a right or left hand turn, the wheels hitting into the fender. Um, overall, though, the Model T is really nice. It's got the opening door on this side. And on the opposite side, it's got a fake door. It's just actually an indentation. I was explaining this on the Citroen video from last time, but I think I might have made a mistake because there's the indentation door. It doesn't actually open because all your gear levers and that are right behind there, so you couldn't actually enter the car at that point. Now, one thing that is cool is that the hood actually lifts off. And there's the Model T block right in there. Uh, let's just rotate this around because I don't want to really just grab this thing up off of camera position. It's so hard to align this actually on the uh, turntable with the camera pointing at it and all the rest. But again, looks really good. Okay. Oh, whatever. Let's bring it up into the camera. So here you see the updraft carburetor takes in air from the bottom, comes up into the intake along the top. Model T's had really big spark plugs in them, probably the biggest size imaginable. There's the wiring on the dashboard, a little bit of copper wire my dad brush painted in. Now if we just turn it over to Mr. Laurel's driver's side, you can see the driving column down here, or the steering column I should say, driving column. And then you can see the lower radiator hose there. Now, these hoses don't actually connect into the bottom of the radiator, unfortunately, but they give that impression that they do. So overall, again, this model kit is a really fun one. And this is built out of the box. Now, there is another Model T for Laurel and Hardy that my dad did not get, and that's the 27 Phaeton, or Phaeton. And, uh, yeah, he just didn't get that one, but... He did get the little coupe. And here we have the underside of the Model T. Again, we've got the rear axle with the torque tube going in here. That's how they attach this. So this is not rotating around this way. 
there's actually a drive shaft which goes inside this casing and turns around and connects with the rear axle. They called it a torque tube. And uh, here's the torsion bars which come out onto the sides as well as the rear spring. And we have some more up front. Now this entire pan is the oil pan for the engine as well as the transmission pan in the back. Ford used the planetary transmission which again is like an automatic with some pedals. And uh, just on AMT's side there are some mold marks underneath here. Dad did try to level them down a bit but didn't completely remove them. But then again that's the way it was. Another thing about this is the model is all molded in color, in black. My dad did paint the floors underneath here with wood, which I'm not really sure that Ford did that or if they just painted it. Again, these are some of the, well, mysteries of the Model T that we didn't have access to back in the day. My dad built this in the late 70s, so no internet. You just either had to know somebody that had a Model T and allowed you to crawl all underneath it and everywhere, or use reference photos which usually were in black and white or hope that some book actually had somebody crawl underneath and take a picture of it but usually they just showed the three quarters on the outside but again my dad did a great job on this so here is Stan Laurel inside the car and you can see he's got a white shirt on with a red band on the side and a gray vest and a green tie and that's the way dad painted them one thing my dad did not paint is the eyes in here Whoops. So they are kind of a little bit plain Jane. Now if I just turn the car over onto this side, we can see that my dad left Mr. Hardy, Laura, uh, yes, left Mr. Hardy in the black plastic, just painted his shirt white with a blue tie. And again, didn't really paint much except for his little trademark mustache on there, which is a good thing. But uh, yeah, there's no eyes in with the uh, Laurel and Hardy. Well, I really hope you enjoyed checking out our versions of the 1925 Model T Roadster with Laurel and Hardy. What a great combination of comedians those guys were. If you haven't seen any of their movies, you got to check them out. They made silent films as well as talkies. And that was really cool. Say, do you want to get some model kits of your own to build and collect and paint up and have fun with? Well, if you do, check out what we have for sale at www.monster-hobbies.ca today. We got some really cool things, lots of cars from the 50s and other eras. I'm sure you really want to check them out by clicking on the link that'll be coming up here, as well as checking out our website right here on my t-shirt. Also, if you really love watching these videos and want to continue supporting us here on YouTube, you can click that join button and for as little as $3 a month, you can help support us. And what I'd really love to do is See, I've inherited all these model cars from my dad, and I also have my own collection of model cars. And I think, you know, instead of these things just disappearing, you know, in, into the annals of history, you know, as time progresses, what I'd really love to do is show these models to the world outside of YouTube and all the rest. I want to build a museum that uh, really showcases my work and my dad's work. Now, my dad did pass away in 2019, so it's kind of sad I can't show him this. But this is sort of my goal, to make this museum in honor of my dad and, of course, incorporate my models. So it's going to have, like, the concept is to have dioramas from different time periods. So right now I'm showing a lot of cars from, like, the beginning of, of cars until the 20s and 30s and whatnot. My dad sort of built the early stuff, and I built the later stuff. But interestingly enough, my dad only built the 1932 Chevy. He never built any of the 32 Fords, so I've built those. So, like I'm saying, I can make a lot of street scenes and, and things. And I have figures that are like 124 scale and all the rest. It'll be a really cool museum. And I can't really do that on my own. So with your help, with just $3 a month, depending on how many people donate this $3 a month, we could really get together and build a really cool museum. So that's my thoughts on all of that. So if you enjoyed this video, again, click that thumbs up button. Also, if you've built any of these models, we'd like to see them over on our Facebook page. So until next time, everybody, thanks for watching the videos and happy model building.